Imagine you have earned and saved lots of money to buy land. And finally you could buy it. It's a triangular piece of land and with known lengths of the three sides. But how to calculate and verify the area? We already know that the area of triangle is half of base multiplied by height. Now, do you have to go through the trouble of drawing a perpendicular on a side till the opposite vertex to find the height of this triangle? Then, how to find the area of this land without its height? You know, the ancient Egyptian mathematician Heron gave us a formula for these kind of situations. Most of the time in real life, it is easier to measure the sides of the triangle rather than drawing an imaginary perpendicular on one side. So if we apply Heron's formula, we don't need to find the height of the triangle. Besides, Heron's formula can be used for any kind of triangle. You know, this formula has been known for nearly 2000 years. Here we see a triangle and ABC are the lengths of its three sides. The perimeter of this triangle is A plus B plus C. As we know, the perimeter is nothing but the boundary of a closed figure and we know triangle is a closed figure. Say, S is the semi-perimeter, that is, half of the perimeter of the triangle. So we say, S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2, where A, B and C are the three sides of a triangle. Then, according to Heron's formula, area of the triangle denoted by A here is square root of s multiplied by s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 that is it is the semi perimeter now coming back to our problem let us use this formula to find the area of the triangular field here the three sides of triangle are 42 meter, 18 meter and 30 meter. The perimeter is 42 plus 30 plus 18. That is, it is the sum of the three sides and is equal to 90 meter. So, the semi-perimeter is half of it. We write S is equal to 42 plus 30 plus 18 divided by 2 which is equal to 45 so s is 45 meter now let's put the value of three sides here small a is equal to 42 b is equal to 30 and c equal to 18 meter so by putting the value of s and ABC, we get area equal to square root of 45 multiplied by 45 minus 42 multiplied by 45 minus 30 multiplied by 45 minus 18. That is, we get square root of 45 multiplied by 45 minus 42 is 3 multiplied by 45 minus 30 which is equal to 15 multiplied by 45 minus 18 which is 27. Now, how to find the square root? Well, we can break it into prime factors. So, 45 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. 3 we write as is. 15 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5. And 27 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So all these are prime factors. So here we have 6 3's under the square root. So we can take out 3 3's outside the square root. And we have 2 5's under the square root. So 
one five can be taken out. So only three is remaining inside the square root. This gives us area as one thirty five square root of three. So using Heron's formula, we calculated the area of this triangle as one thirty five square root of three square meters. So remember, this is Heron's formula. Area of given triangle denoted by A here is the square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C where S is the semi perimeter that is half the perimeter of a given triangle where A, B, C are the lengths of the three sides of the triangle. We will see more usage of Heron's formula in the next video.